Hi guys, it is Nyjah and Jasmine back again. We have a little special for you guys. Coming I, from the hot tub. Coming from the hot tub. So we wanted to do something special in light of spoopy season coming up. So I thought it'd be fun to be in the hot tub and talk about some spiritual topics. At nighttime. At nighttime, okay. So we've decided we're gonna chat about ghosts. Ghosts. Ghosts or spirits. Okay, so my first question since we're talking about this. Do you believe in ghosts? And if you do, what do you think the difference is between a ghost and a spirit? I honestly think ghosts and spirits are the same thing. Mm. I think spirit just comes from a religious word mm -hmm. and ghost comes from just- Secular? I guess secular, mm -hmm. spooky, scary stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but it means the same thing, tomato, tomato. Mm -hmm. um, a ghost comes from someone's body, a spirit comes from someone's body. Mm -hmm. so. You're very true about that. Yeah, it's the same thing. people like to make you think it's different and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, now is the Holy Spirit different? Ooh. It depends on, you know, if you're religious and I'm actually kind of, floating out of that religious realm mm -hmm. and more of the Buddhism and reincarnation realm where I believe in God and I believe in a, I believe in a God and a higher power mm -hmm. in heaven mm -hmm. but not the biblical God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. So, do I believe in the Holy Spirit? To me... Not in that sense. To me, I feel like the Holy Spirit is everyone's higher self which we are all connected to and when they talk about like the Holy Spirit in church and things like that, like, oh, she caught the Holy Ghost or whatever, I feel like it's just reaching a high state of frequency or a high state of vibration that is activating your Kundalini energy or that serpentine energy through the spine. So typically they'll feel like they wanna shake, they wanna uh, jump, they wanna shout, right? So um, yeah, I feel like that's what the Holy Spirit is. Everybody has a Holy Spirit, but to me the Holy Spirit is the higher self incarnated into the body um and it it comes and goes so i don't know what do you think the big fascination is with ghosts i guess people are just curious about what happens when you die <sighs> yes everybody is scared about what happens when you die is there mm -hmm. nothing there mm -hmm. and i used to come with the thought process of i'd rather think that there's something there and die with that hope mm -hmm. than to die scared thinking that this is it like i don't understand why you wouldn't want to believe in something i I don't understand how I used to believe in only a heaven and hell. Like, I don't understand how people can believe that nothing exists after life. Just because there's so much mysticism and spirituality in life. And, um, yeah, so it's just weird to me that they think that they just, like, where do you think your consciousness goes? Like, we are really not these bodies. So that's what ghosts and spirits are, the remnants of what you are when your body is no longer able to support you in the 3D. And we all say that energy cannot be destroyed. Mm -hmm. So where does it go? Right. That's the, for all you people who don't believe in an afterlife, but you believe in science and you believe in the law of energy that it can't be created or destroyed, it must be transferred somewhere yeah. so and i think we do jump into different bodies but the thought process is, is if we jump into different bodies mm -hmm. then why are there ghosts oh yeah like why do some souls and spirits decide to stay and why do some decide to go i think from what i heard is that it's still unfinished business or they're mm -hmm. not ready to go or it was mm -hmm. quick and sudden mm -hmm. and they're kind of just walking around wallowing like mm -hmm. why me where am i why can't people see me or i don't know i'm not ready to, to leave this realm mm -hmm. um but then it's like okay i can understand that and i do think eventually they do leave mm -hmm. and i do believe in remnants mm -hmm. so remnants is when people go to like a civil war hospital that you a house that was turned into a hospital mm -hmm. and the civil war ghosts that they see in their old civil war civil war clothes mm -hmm. are just doing the same thing over and over again mm -hmm. i think it's a remnant like they're stuck in a loop yeah but i don't even know if that's fully them mm -hmm. Ooh, or just the inner, like, just the energy. Did that person reincarnate, leave, or is that but, really them? But I feel like, again, that's the difference. That could be a difference between a ghost or a spirit because I've heard that ghosts are just energies that keep replaying it. Like, if you go to a haunted house and the same ghost does the same thing and it's not trying to bother anybody, it's just on, right? But, like, a spirit still has consciousness to it. 
a ghost might just be energy, but the spirit still has consciousness to it. Yeah. So then comes demons. Ooh. If there is no hell, mm -hmm. and there's reincarnation and there's karma, mm -hmm. how do you explain demons? How do you explain evil I entities? I have an explanation for this that my guides actually gave me. I shared this download on the channel, and um, they're basically saying that um, demons or these lower vibrational entities come from lower lower dimensional realms um, that are not from earth but when people dip down in their vibration they lower their vibration mm. they it can be incepted by demonic entities if you are high vibrational they won't mess with you they won't bother you because they can't latch on to you as soon as you dip down into their vibrational frequency they can then start to it's just like if you, you create your own hell it's like if you don't know english or if you someone who doesn't know english can't mess with you because if you only speak his English, then you guys aren't, you know, you can't. But if somebody, if they understand your language, meaning vibrationally, your frequency, then they can begin to communicate with you through like negative thought forms and through negative habits. They might be playing out those negative habits through you because your vibration so low, you've been incepted. I also think that you create your own hell where if you die and you believe that you were supposed to go to hell because you knew you were a bad person and you did bad things is that now you're operating and you're dying in a low vibrational headspace mm. that you create that yeah like your energy is now surrounded by all that darkness and wallowing mm -hmm. and you have to get yourself out of it and it may take some time for you to realize that you actually can move on you mm. actually can go into your next step and that makes sense. your spirit guides are probably waiting for you in that fall to for rise. you to snap out of right. that but you have to be if you believe is that if, if you believe that that's what you deserve when you die then mm -hmm. that is what you're going to create and you can stay there for a while mm -hmm. but like purgatory that's what that yeah. is yeah uh -huh. but that like doesn't explain remember. people being possessed and like spirits that are really no. really possession is demonic attachment so are there really demons Absolutely. Demons are only lower vibrational energies that latch on to people. And how long do you stay in that low vibrational hold of those demons? So here's the thing I think about demons. If they are choosing to be low vibrational, if they wanted to raise and vibe, that's how they say like angels can be fallen and become demons. It's all about vibration and frequency. The higher you rise, the higher dimensions you get to go to. The lower you drop down in your frequency, the lower dimensions you go to. But you have, always have a choice. Now, in my head, I'm still trying to unravel the religious hold that I was caught up in. Mm. You know, the biblical sense of heaven, hell, God, <laughs> Jesus, Holy Spirit, and all that. Mm. I actually really want to believe in a hell. Mm. Because, like a place for bad people to yeah, go. Yeah, mm. because it's like, how could you be so evil mm -hmm. and not get yours mm -hmm. but like we said you get your karma mm -hmm. um but i'm still trying to unravel mm -hmm. what that looks like and but if you think about it those people are already in the form of hell mm -hmm. because you would not do evil things unless you were already internally feeling so low and so dark and think about this now we're going to get on the god topic yeah if you have a god who loves his kids he made these kids and he gave you free will is it really free will if it's a threat? What do you mean? Elaborate. You either love me, praise me, and make the right choice to mm -hmm. be in heaven, mm -hmm. or you're going to burn in hell for eternity. Exactly. Is that really free will? And I can't. Exactly. Can you ask yourself as a religious person, if you are a religious person, mm -hmm. that would a law, would an all loving God who loves his children? loves his creation mm -hmm. what kind of man is, would he be if he was okay with watching his children burn mm -hmm. for eternity because he gave us free will but he knows our choice in the end still my guides are saying that's not god the person that they are using to puppeteer mm -hmm. religion and stuff like that one because so many things are contradictory and two because everything is god all is god mm -hmm. so they're just using um like eternal torment to Control, it's a yeah. it's a fear tactic it's fear if it's fear it cannot be of god because god is love exactly. so anything and everything that invokes fear look at that our angels guides and helpers are with us look at this 
Do you see this? Hang on, because he's like right next to me. You can literally see him see on it? the camera. Go closer, but you can't can see zoom him. In. I just saw 1204, my synchronicity. This is what we're staring at for those of you guys who are curious. He's literally like right here next it to like, me. It crawled on the ledge when we started talking about God, and then it crawled back up. You guys can't even see this. There is like a. It's a praying it mantis. A praying mantis. That represents the full card in one of my tarot decks that I have. So, like a fresh start, new begin. It climbed there just so we'd see it, and then it climbed back up. That is God consciousness. But yeah, so I think. He's looking at it. Yeah, he's like, you know what's up, and you know who this is. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't believe that that is God, who they're talking about in the Bible, saying he's jealous, he's blah, 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 he's this, he's... No, I don't think that that's really God. They're using him to control you because mm -hmm. how can your God, if you're a religious, I'm talking to you and I'm not attacking you, is how can your God say that he loves you, say that he gives you free will, but he knows what path you're going to take anyway. Is that really free will if he threatens you for that other path that he already made for you? Like it doesn't like make it make sense. Mm -hmm. Like how is that free will if it's a threat? I think they're, I mean, they can try to make it make sense, but I feel like people who are religious have a superiority complex. And so it feels good to say I'm on the winning team. You're damned if you don't live in this way and you're good if you, if you do live in this way. It's just about rules. Really ask yourself these these questions that a lot of Christian Christianity faith can't give Explain. you a straight answer to because mm -hmm. it just it just is so contradictory. And mm -hmm. if you actually do read the Bible, number one, it was written by man. Mm -hmm. Since when was man reliable? Mm -hmm. Number two, it was rewritten in m multiple languages mm -hmm. by a king so it's who was trying to run his own agenda. Exactly. Number three, why are there missing scrolls under a church that no one can access? Here's my number four. Black people never followed that shit to begin with. This is all new, relatively new compared to like African spirituality and all that came before this. And it, it talks about putting black people in slavery in the Bible. Like it actually... It says the slaves should honor their masters. Exactly. And there it is no, slavery. there is no, sla there is no hierarchy of people. And this is something also that Americans need to understand, especially with like, you know, like, oh my God, the Haitians are crossing the border. The Mexicans are like, people in America feel so superior because they're born in America. And you are no different than the people who are in Afghanistan, the Middle East, all these places. And I get it, but we really do think we're better than people because of the country we're born in. Like, that's all fake. It's all fake. <laughs> and we're just test dummies anyway for a capitalistic country. Like, they're testing to see how far they can go on us in America. We're test dummies. How far can they push this capitalistic agenda mm -hmm. so that they can use it in other different places? We are a commodity to them. So don't yeah. think that you're safe here. Don't think that you're really free here. Don't think that you have real... I mean, you've heard about like, here. how they say when you're born and you get your birth certificate, you they're signing you over into the corporation. You are in debt when you are when you when you are born. Well, you your, are in mm -hmm. debt when you get your social security. You are now in debt you, to you're America. a work. You are an employee of the government, mm -hmm. and they train you from childhood, uh, kindergarten. We yeah. go to kindergarten. Right. I went to pre-K at four years old, five mm -hmm. years old probably, and. They, the whole entire system was set up for you to become a worker. To become a worker, mm -hmm. you know the bills that release you from class are it's the just same like bills at a warehouse or same bills at a prison. Yep. Um, having to ask to go to the bathroom. Who else has to ask to go to the bathroom? Prisoners. In inmates. We are a commodity. Stop thinking that you're really free. Oh, it's the land of the free. We can say what we want. Can it's, you really? It's an illusion. Because we are. We're now. We're really getting censored. Now we can't say that we disagree with something without being our jobs being taken away from mm -hmm. us or being publicly denounced mm -hmm. or canceled. And I know we're not talking about this in this video, but you can tell when demonic uh, possession has happened, when they're trying to force someone's will to do something that they don't want to do. That is demonic possession. God, again, gave everybody free will. So if anyone's trying to make you do something you don't want to do, that's demonic possession. They're trying to use fear to make you listen and colla co collaborate cooperate <laughs> and if you still want to go by the biblical sense think about revelations mm. they force something on people where i mean look at look at new york you can't stay in a hotel you can't go out to eat to restaurants you can't go into stores you can't do anything unless you have a vaseline mm -hmm. they're not no nothing you cannot do anything in new york 
unless you have a Vaseline. Mm -hmm. So they're we basically are. taking away human rights. Sounds like the and, 666 stamp on me. And but the sad thing is, the only reason why it's happening is again because we people are it. exactly we're under a spell of illusion, and we said, okay, well, it's okay, it's for our safety, it's okay, you know, we're acquiescing our rights away, and we don't even realize it because they're saying it's for our highest and greatest good, you but can't it's not. Eat. If you don't have it, you, you can't, can't participate work. in society. You can't go to your child's school. You can't kiss your grandpa goodbye on you his deathbed. You can't keep your job. Like it's funny that a year ago, all of our emergency people were heroes, but now we want to fire them because they're not doing what we say. Because they're not complying. Exactly. You see, but and they were the is... ones keeping us alive last year, were they not? And this is my understanding that they're only going to get tougher and tougher and tougher on the collective until the collective stands up it's only because they're just seeing how much they can get away with right now how did we get on this from ghosts <laughs> i don't know but so just look at your free will at the end of the day and your energy that has to do with ghosts free will and ghosts ghosts and, and your spirits, energy ghosts and spirits decide if they want to stay or go at the end of their life and they make their own hell if they feel at peace they will go if they do not feel at peace they will stay and at the end of the day when they are dead that there is not a god that's going to push them away that it was all a test in the end mm -hmm. and you what? need to be looking at your own free will mm -hmm. you need to be looking at your own energy and who you're giving it to and who's forcing you to give it away mm -hmm. and make the conscious decision to look at the things that you were indoctrinated into mm -hmm. so that when you do pass on you're not one of those low vibrational yes. spirits demons or anything and i would say last thing we are all fragments of god so mm. if you have hatred in your heart for somebody if you dislike someone if you dislike a group of people you dislike yourself we are all mirrors of each other we are all fragments of the divine so if you harbor hatred in your heart for anybody you hate yourself and you are not living in alignment with God because everything is God. The insects, the animals, the human beings, even the aliens. I made this video the other day and I said, is Jesus coming back for the aliens as well? <laughs> Just basically poking fun at the fact that Christians love to condemn humanity, but it's like, are the aliens subject to follow Jesus Christ honestly and truly? And remember, you signed a soul contract before you came into this life. So the people you hate, the people that you despise, the people that you disagree with, you are going to live that life of theirs one day because you're going to have to go through that lesson. Mm. So, and it is hard. I condemn a lot of people. I'm very judgmental as well. And, mm. and people are like, oh, I'm not judgmental. Yes, you are as human nature. And I'm not going to sit here and act like and lie and say that I don't judge people. Why do we think that humans judge so hard? It's, it was actually, if you think about our, our biology back then, it was to keep us safe. Mm. We, that's why like in psychology, they um, put two pic pictures side by side, mm. one with a masculine face and one with a little bit more of a feminine shape of mm. men. And they, and they ask you who's safer, who do you like more, who would you vote for, who would you go with? And people always, you judge feminine femininity as safe. Mm. So it's, it's our biology to keep it was to keep us safe and is involved to that. I so love judging it. is not bad. Mm. It's like a mechanism that we use as humans to keep us safe. Yeah. But I feel like the when judgment becomes a problem is when we're trying to tell other people how to mm. live their lives. You don't know what's best for somebody else because you will never be in their mindset. You will never be a part of their like you won't know their soul contract. You won't know who they were before this. You don't know anything about them. You don't know why they think the way they think. Maybe Maybe they're a part of the matrix and they're just keeping the game going you but know? it's a good lesson and you should ask i i'm, ask I'm what? why do you do that mm -hmm. um it, and it can sound offensive and, uh, and forgive me if it is and i'll say that to people when i do ask but i am genuinely interested on different paths of life even when i don't agree with it mm -hmm. because it's like how did they get there mm -hmm. why are they there mm -hmm. why do they think like this mm -hmm. i actually i like videos on tiktok that i don't agree with Oh wow! Because I want to hear more, and I'm like, mm. wow, I and, feel triggered. And you're not the person and who's I feel in the challenged. comments like, yeah, you're Sometimes, so stupid. I hate you. You're I don't why that. do you think like that? But I do make a joke because I'm human. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I make a joke on it, but I like it because I'm like, I'm interested in hearing more of this because it triggered me, it challenged mm -hmm. me, and now I'm intrigued. Yes. On and why. the big thing about triggers is triggers are only showing you your beliefs mm -hmm. and your ideology. So when you're triggered about what something says, but you hear anything like that, it's only showing you something about yourself we're only triggered to uncover 
what is going on within ourselves. And also when everybody is running a certain way, stop and think, mm. should I be running with them? This goes with, with me. I was actually pretty challenge, challenged with the Vaseline mm -hmm. and with Trump. Ooh. I was like, when everybody was running away from him, I became more intrigued on why people were running. Mm -hmm. And I did not make any, con um, I did not condemn him at all. I was mm -hmm. just more, sometimes he would do something or say something stupid. I'm like, yeah, because he's, you know, he's stupid. <laughs> yeah. However, I was intrigued with, I'm just, there's a lot of people going against mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. And that you could Sorry. literally and say here and tell me that it was for a great reason. You could give me bulletin points on why it is. I still will not take your side and be mm -hmm. like, Something's not it. Something's in the pudding. Yeah, for sure. Something's in the pudding. Anytime the government is trying to promote something, I'm like, what is this really about? Mm -hmm. You're pushing truly. entirely too hard on something like this. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, Jasmine, thank you for your thoughts, ideas, and insight. I feel like people really love to hear what you think, so... I feel like a lot of people are going to judge me hard for this one. So just I because I you... said Trump, I feel, because, you know, everybody's no. like... I don't think you said anything bad and if somebody is triggered by like the fact that somebody likes a political figure or blah 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 I feel like you should understand like you said ask them why why I didn't do you think like, that way No I didn't like him I was intrigued mm, Yeah because it was like why are so many people triggered by this and what can I learn from this? Mm -hmm. I need to know the underlying because there's no way that something so big like this mm -hmm. It just didn't sit right with me. And then mm -hmm. there was actually some things that came up mm -hmm. with, wow, he might have been right about this or that. Mm -hmm. But people don't want to talk about that because they're more emotional. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're, we'll keep going on and on and on. Yeah. Just look more into things and don't just be too... Don't rush into a decision. like, mm -hmm. And don't let other people make decisions for you. Like, Use your own brain. What do you want to do? Stop being the person who asks everyone's opinion before you make a decision. You know what to do. We all have the answers on the inside. When we probe everybody for what we should do, we're going to get what they would do, but not what is in alignment for your highest and greatest good. And don't make these decisions when you're emotional. Mm. Emotion is kind of what messes people up because like you're not make you weak sometimes you're not clear-minded mm -hmm. they're you know mm -hmm. don't get emotional you know the headlines that make you emotional mm -hmm. that people don't even bother reading them because they're so emotional Triggering. Over, over the um the headline mm -hmm. let it go yeah breathe yeah come back later to it mm -hmm. yep wow yeah. all right you guys thank you so much for watching us today we'll see you in our next video bye